How's it going guys? Carl here. I am back with another Power BI video. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to get your SharePoint Excel files into Power BI. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing is first. So I have this data here. I have this Huff Grocery Store data. It is in Excel and it's in SharePoint. So I wanted to basically get my Excel file into SharePoint. I got my Excel file into SharePoint. Now that it's in SharePoint, I want to go ahead and get this into Power BI. So let's go ahead and open up Power BI. Now the data that we want to get is our SharePoint folder data. So we're going to wait till this populates and we're going to go to the SharePoint folder. So this is the one that we want. SharePoint folder, we're going to connect. And once this comes up, it's going to look for our site URL. So we want to do our site URL. So in order to get our site URL, we have to come up here and let's just go ahead and copy this and I'll just do a control C here and let's go back to PowerPoint we'll control C here but what I want to get rid of is is that right there all right so this is our SharePoint site so we're gonna hit OK on that and once this gets done thinking and talking here you're gonna see where we have this Huff grocery store online so what I want to do now is let's just go ahead and transform data. And this is going to bring up the Power BI Power Query Editor. And the one that I want is this one right here. So we're going to left click on binary. So once we left click on binary, what happens is it says, all right, we got a data. We got data, which is the entire sheet. And we got a table, which if, if you've made a table, let's go ahead and just do a left click on table. And once you do a left click on table, you see that now you have that Excel file inside of Power BI. So what I want to do is just go ahead and rename this to Health Grocery, Health Grocery Store. So now it has a name. And if you look over here to the right, you see that there are some applied steps. So just keep in mind that in the Power Query Editor, every change that you make is going to go right here to the apply steps. We're going to close and apply. Once we close and apply, you're going to get this right here. And it's basically going to let you know that you have made changes to your data and it's going to apply those changes. And once it applies those changes, your data loads into the Power BI report view. And if you click, if you expand this field over here that says data, then you will see that you can click on a table. Let's just click on the table for an example. If we expand this table and we start adding in, let's just add in the customer name, let's add in the product, and let's add in the sale. All right, so now we see that we've added that data in from our SharePoint site, and we can start building out a report and Power BI.